It's the final day of this six-part mini-series where every day this week I've been giving my thoughts on a different fragrance from the house of Etat Libre de Orange. And today I'm reviewing one from 2009 with a name that's, shall we say, nothing like your usual pretentious names that you often come across on some fragrances. And instead, this one goes by the name of Fat Electrician, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I'm not quite sure what a Fat Electrician smells like, but I can only guess, and I hope this one is not inspired by uh, a workman's butt crack uh, but stay with me for the next 10 minutes or so and we'll uh, hopefully find out welcome to mags frags <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. My name's Paul and like I said in the intro, today's featured scent is Fat Electrician, which is part of the Etat Libre de Orange Classic Collection and it was first launched back in 2009. It's classed as a semi-modern vetiver fragrance for men and women and it does actually give the, uh, the name away and tell you what it is on the label. It comes in an eau de parfum concentration and it's available in three sizes, which are the usual 30 mil the 50 mil and the 100 mil bottle sizes and this uh, is the 100 mil bottle size which is usually pr uh, priced around the 140 pounds mark Okay, so into the presentation, and this one comes in the classic style gloss white box with black branding, and it features the usual trademark red and blue circle motif. Uh, on the front is the uh, the name of the fragrance and also the name of the house, and then at the top we've got uh, an Etat Libre de Orange logo which is uh, embossed. Um, in, around the back is uh, where you'll find all your product information and finally at the bottom is uh, the barcode and your batch code and the batch code on this one is F21S231A. The bottle again is in the uh, classic collection style uh, and it uh, comes in a, like a square shaped clear glass design and features uh, a sticker on the corner with the, uh, the name of the fragrance and also the name of the house. Around the back um, there's an Etat Libre de Orange uh, logo and that's just kind of moulded into the glass and we've also got another logo which is uh, stamped into the, uh, the top of the uh, cap there. There is a chrome cap and it's a, a click on style and it does uh, click on uh, quite firmly and it does feel fa fairly weighty. Uh, and then there's a chrome atomizer which delivers a really nice decent blast of juice. And like I've said all week, these aren't the most exciting fr uh, fragrances in terms of the packaging, uh, but they're okay and they uh, feel pretty high quality and they don't feel cheap in any way. Okay, so into the note breakdown, and the notes in this one are whipped cream, vetiver, maron glacé, which is like a sweet candied chestnut. We've then got vanilla, olive leaf, myrrh, and a poponax, which is like a, a sweet spicy resin. Okay, so the first thing that you uh, are gonna pick up on from the initial spray of this one is the vetiver note, which if you are new to fragrances, is a dry, grassy, earthy note. And if you've ever tried any Terre de Mez fragrances in the past, it's the most prominent note found in those. So you will get a bit of a Terre de Mez vibe uh, when you smell this one for the first time. I can sometimes find vetiver fragrances to be uh, a little bit abrasive and harsh for my own personal taste and I have a, a little bit of a love-hate relationship with the note personally but this is slightly different to any vetiver fragrance that I've uh, smelled before because it also has uh, quite a lot of uh, the sweetness coming from the vanilla and the whipped cream and also the resins in the base which actually softens the, uh, the vetiver and just gives the overall scent more of a warm, smooth and easygoing character. There's some uh, nuttiness in here also from the chestnut and overall I'd say it's a nicely blended scent which uh, does have a, a clean outdoorsy greenness to it as the main focal, like, focal point uh, but I really love the sweetness in the background which this produces. It's not gourmand uh, but it's just enough to kind of round out all the dryness from the vetiver note and as weird as, weird as this may sound you end up with more of a, like a semi-sweet creamy vetiver uh, which which I actually really enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
This is perfect to wear in the springtime and also in the autumn when the weather's kind of cool and crisp. It's also more of a daytime fragrance in my opinion and one you could easily wear either dressed up or casually and, and it'd also make a really good office scent. It smells clean and classy and I think it'd uh, complement a smart suit perfectly but I'd also be happy to wear this with uh, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt so I'd say it's uh, a pretty versatile kind of go, uh, spray and go type fragrance. Uh, I don't think uh, I'd reach for this for a night out really uh, because I personally enjoy really warm, boozy and spicy fragrances at night time and this has more of a, like a green outdoorsy smell to it. I think vetiver fragrances in general suit older gentlemen uh, but this does uh, have some more modern and youthful uh, facets to it which I think young guys would uh, be able to wear this one no problem. It is classed as a unisex fragrance, but in my opinion, I think it leans uh, quite a bit more masculine than it does feminine, and it's not really one that I'd uh, particularly enjoy uh, coming from a woman. The performance on this I'd say is good but not great and the projection is decent for a couple of hours and then it does tend to sit uh, closer to the skin. It lasts for quite a while though and you'll still be able to pick it up after about the 7 or 8 hour mark if you go directly to the skin where you first applied it. I've only worn it a, a couple of times now and so far nobody's complimented it, complimented me or commented on it uh, but I can tell that people will be able to notice it because I do keep catching wafts of it in the air when I'm just moving about and going about my business so that's always a good indication that people around you are going to be able to smell it uh, but yeah I would say not a weak fragrance uh, but just not one that's going to set your world alight. Yet I can confidently say that this is uh, the best smelling vetiver fragrance that I've ever tested and like the label suggests it is more of a modern contemporary uh, take on the note. I think anyone who enjoys vetiver will love this one uh, but I also think that it's pleasant enough for people like me who don't particularly uh, love the note to be able to get along with it as well and I actually was surprised at how much I uh, actually do like this one. It's a very creamy, earthy, satisfying scent from the initial spray right the way through to the end of its life and it's one that I definitely plan to keep wearing once we start heading towards the springtime again. Okay so once again that's about it for today's episode and also this little week long six part series. I've really enjoyed discovering some uh, really unique and interesting fragrances from this house and I do plan on uh, getting my nose on some more uh, in the very near future. I've already been asked a few times in the comments section which one of these six has been my favourite and I would probably say the, uh, the frustration one uh, which was actually the first one that I reviewed. It's the kind of darker boozy smoky scent profile that I really enjoy so this one would definitely take top spot but to be honest there hasn't been one that I've actually uh, actively disliked and all have been really unique and interesting so maybe grab yourself a, a discovery set from the website and try them out for yourself and let me know how you get along with them. But for the next couple of weeks I am going to I'm going to be going on a mission to try and find some new and interesting releases to talk about in my upcoming videos as well as maybe reviewing some more Middle Eastern fragrances because they always seem to prove quite popular and generate plenty of views and we all know that it's the views that pay the bills. So as always guys thank you very much for tuning in again. If you've enjoyed the video smash that like button and I'll see you very soon for loads more fragrance content. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and goodbye from me.